My name is Graham Longdon Callis. I was born on the 11th of March 1932. I went to Korea in 1952 in about September time. And I was there then until uh, September and October in 1953. So I was out there when the war was on, and I was out there when the armistice was signed, and the war never finished. <laughs> Do you remember leading up to the armistice? Yes, I remember everything when I was out there. I think so. Tell us, and what were you what what were you assigned to do? Uh, to uh, f give the country freedom. Oh, you didn't fight. You were feeding people. Pardon? What was your position in the army? My position was uh, a private. Mm. But before I went in the army, I went in the army when I, I went in the army when I was twenty years of age. You should have been eighteen. But I was in college. I was a student studying in Cardiff, you. So I didn't go into the army until another two years. So that's why uh, I went to Korea then uh, when I was 20 instead of 18. And what did you do in the army? Uh, I was a private and I was uh, in the front line. On, so you were, uh, on, you thought combat? I was, yes. I was on guard this one particular night and um, uh, it was a cold night, it was Christmas time and a friend of mine just before the morning came, he went down the front part of the of our hill, and uh, there was uh, uh, Christmas cards on the trees. And I go, when you, he came back and he gave it to me. I was on guard, and he gave it to me, and that's from the North Koreans. And it says, Merry Christmas. And it's even got his signature of the person that put it there. And, and it's from the Bank of Korea. Wow. This is different. And I don't think there's many of them about. No. I have the so ones that are... Um, not personalized like this with no. a name. It's even signed by him as well. Bank of England, a bank of Korea. Oh my God! He's saying, "Don't fight in the war." Yeah. Oh my God! Did you know any from the regiment personally that died? Yes, I do. But. I was with a, with a, a person there that was attached to my regiment in, for the signal call, signals, and he was with me for quite a few months and I got very friendly with him. And his name was uh, uh, Keith Stanley Ogborn. And I, I was in the same position with him, and we slept almost together in our separate sleeping bags. And uh, he said, Graham, he said, I'm going on patrol tonight. I said, what for? He said, are you volunteered to go on a patrol? I said, oh, what do you want to do that for, Keith? And he said, it'll be experience. Anyway, he used to show me photographs of, it, of himself uh, achieving a cap and gown from university and college 
and also a photograph of his fiancée that also had a ca her cap and gown. And he said that we were going to get married when she came out of the army after two years. And uh, I, I, I got quite attached to him, you know, because he was a nice chap, a nice friend. And he volunteered to go on this patrol. And I, I got up in the morning and I thought, I wonder where he said he's a long time coming back. So I went down, further down the mountain, to the CO's position. And the CO said, Graham, he said, I'm sorry, but he'd been blown to pieces. There was enemy fire when he was on patrol. They all scattered, the patrol scattered, and he led on a mine and he was blown to pieces. And that, that stuck in my mind. And I, 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 I had a job to get over that. And to this day, I still keep on remembering that. He was ever such a lovely person, and he was only doing his two years, and he wanted to get out, and he was going to get married to his uh, fiancée. But anyway, that's the end of the story there. What was his full name? His name was Keith Stanley Ogbourne. And he was one of the 24 people that was killed for in our 1st Battalion of the King's Regiment. And four was missing. I don't know if any of those was uh, survived, the ones was missing. So you were um, part of the King's Regiment, not the Welch Regiment? Yes, I was the King's, uh, in the King's Regiment. But I went out to Korea with the 1st Battalion, with a, with a Welsh Regiment. But the Welsh Regiment was in Korea then, but they only had several months to go, go and they would be coming out. So what they did, they transferred all of us then, in the Welsh going out, and they transferred us to the 1st Battalion of the King's Regiment. But so, why is his name not among the 32? Pardon? Keith is, um, Grandpa Keith's name is not among the 32 because he was British. He was English. He was English, yes. Mm, he was English. Because he, he was born in uh, 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 Oldham. He was born in Oldham. And he was only a child. And uh, he spoke about his mother, but I can't remember if he said anything about his father. Mm. But when I was came out of the career, I would have liked to have gone to see her and told, told her that I was a friend of her son's. But anyway... You I went did. to go see her? Yes, and you know, mm. but I never did that. Well, explain this picture. That's the, the cookhouse in reserve position. Mm. When we went in reserve position. He's a cook? Position. Yes, they were. The I, little boy? No, I wasn't a cook. The cook was there. Oh, how about the little boy? And in the background there, there's big drums that held the, the kerosene that kept the, all the transport going, the petrol sort of diesel, diesel you know. And out of those drums, they made the, their cooking ovens. How about the little boy? Yes, that boy was, uh, was South Korean. He but was a houseboy? I, I, can't, I can't remember his name, but he was a good kid, and he was always uh, there to help. He was a houseboy? Yeah. There were a lot of houseboys, huh? Pardon? There were many houseboys. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, yes, that, that's all the ships, I, troop ships that I went on to Hong Kong. I did Korean training in Hong Kong. Yeah, that's, uh, that's me sending them, my mother and father and my two brothers. And my two brothers, they have passed away since. And they were younger than me. 
Sorry. They both died of cancer. Sorry to see things. And I've had cancer twice and I'm under the cancer specialist now. But wow. the National Health have saved, give me more than 20 years of life. Well, I am glad to hear that.